Hi, this is Sue Polinsky at Tech Triad. Today we're going to learn how to edit this menu on our website with its little drop downs. This is an advanced thing. You may want to watch it twice. You may want to take notes. We're using our Tech Triad test site. First thing I have to do in some cases is connect. Because we have multiple sites and I just opened Contribute, I'm not connected to anything. I chose this as the site I want to edit. I click Connect, and this connects to the server and enables me to start editing. Well, what we did in our last screencast about editing the footer holds true for editing the menu. I have to know where my menu is. I have to get to the menu page. So the first thing I'm going to do is erase the home page, and I'm going to type Includes. That's the folder that most of our modern websites, so the last two, maybe three years, that's where your s menus and footers are, and it usually has the very simple name menu.html. Now there are some sites that use quick links, and they're going to have a ton of menus in there, and we're, this site has only one. We're starting with the simpler one, but the menu that controls the entire site on almost every page is called menu.html and I hit enter. I could have pushed the go button. And I got a script error message. You can ignore script error messages because there is a script running the menu. And you can just say no, doesn't matter. Uh, now I'm going to edit the page. In order to create a brand new link that has no drop-downs but is equal to about us or what we do or support donate um, in order to create a new what we call top level menu item I click after the item that I want the new link to go under if I want it to go under contact us I click after contact us we're going to do an easy one first. I know you all want to know where you click to get after one of these. But after what we do, I simply press enter. And by doing that, I'm giving myself the opportunity to put in a new top level link. So I'm going to call this Sue's new link. Now it's not linked to anything. I have to link it if it's a menu item. So I select it and I create a link on my website I browse to a page and I don't know what page to use it's on my website I use the choose button I open up my website and I want to we're making believe right now um, we're gonna um, link it to something in the about section I know it's a duplicate link give me a break on this I forgot to set up a new page click index.php there's a preview of it and what you see is left from the last time we edited this in a workshop so don't worry about what it looks like it'll look like your page and I click OK right now it's loading the preview and contribute has to load the preview before you do anything else my advanced button is open yours may be closed if you want to open it you can put it you can do that and I'm going to do one thing that I want you to do I want you to click in front of about and I want you to get rid of the two dots I'll tell you why later I'm opening it in the same window and I'm clicking OK I now have a link I now publish the page do 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 thank you congratulations I use my back menu to get back to the website and I have Sue's new link and when I click it it's going to the about page this is our about page where we had in our recent workshop put in this title and added all kinds of stuff that because this is a test site we can do whatever we want so let's do that again uh, we have only we don't have enough time to do it again watch the video again and you'll see how to do it shortly we'll have a new video up that shows you how to do other things